Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Math 101, wherein for today our topic is Integral Calculus, and this is a continuation of our previous topic, wherein we solve for the area between curves, but for this time, we'll be using horizontal strips. First, let's try to have a review of our previous topic by solving this problem. So we have, find the area between y squared equals x and y equals x minus 2. For this problem, the graph is already given. So, ito yung ating parabola. And yung line natin is this. Ang wala ngayon dito is yung kanilang points of intersection. So, hanapin muna natin yung point of intersection. Tawagin ulit natin yun as POI. So, paano ba natin isasolve yung point of intersection? So, considering these two equations, ipalit na lang natin as a value of x si y squared sa equation na to. And then, we'll have y equals y squared minus 2. Ipad natin sa kabilang side. 0 equals y squared minus y minus 2. Then, factoring this out, y minus 2 multiplied by y plus 1. So, we have the value of 2 and negative 1 for y. Hanapin natin ngayon yung corresponding x coordinate ng 2 and negative 1. So, for y equals 2, gamitin natin yung equation na to. x is equal to y squared. So, square lang natin to. So, the value of x for y equals 2 is 4, and for y equals negative 1. Again, let's use the first equation, x equals y squared, or y squared equals x. Negative 1 squared is equal to positive 1. So, yung points of intersection natin ay, this point is 1, negative 1, and this one is... 2, or sorry, 4, positive 2. Okay. So, gaya ng ginawa natin last time, kukuha lang tayo ng representative vertical strip natin. So, tignan natin yung ating graph. So, let's say kumuha ako ng representative strip dito. So, vertical strip yung gagamitin ulit natin. And again, the width will be dx. So, check natin ano. Ito bang representative vertical strip natin na to ay consistent na maire-represent yung ating kinukuha na ng area. So, ito yung area na kukuha na natin. Ito yung ating representative curve, or sorry, representative na vertical strip. So, check natin ano. So, mula rito hanggang dito, na represent niya, no? Tama. Same yung y upper with the y lower. Kaya lang pagdating dito, yung y upper natin, same pa rin sa kanina. Kaya lang, yung y lower... Iba na. Kanina ito, yung curve na to. Pagdating dito, yung line na na y equals x minus 2, yung ating y lower. So, paano ang gagawin natin pag ganun? Ang gagawin natin, gagamit tayo ng dalawang representative na vertical strip. And meaning, dalawa rin yung ating magiging integration. So, i-add lang natin yung integral nun. And we're considering two limits dito. Yung una, from this point up to this and yung second integration natin is from this point up to this point. So, paano ba yung magiging itsura nun? Sulat lang natin ulit yung formula for the area. So, that is equal to the integral from A to B ng y upper minus y lower times dx. So, again, dalawa yung ating magiging integration dito. No? One is from this point up to this point. Then, from this point up to this. Sulat natin yung first integral. So, ang limit natin is from 0 to 1. Then, yung ating y upper. So, kunin natin yung y upper natin. Ito yung ating upper function. And yung ating, yung ating lower function. So, using this equation, we'll see 
na yung upper function natin is equal to, solve natin, ano? Using this equation, let's solve for y. So, square root of both sides will have y equals positive and negative square root of x. So, we can see na yung nasa taas ng x-axis, that is positive square root of x. And yung nandito is yung negative square root of x. So, ito yung nasa taas na to, positive lang siya, no? So, y upper is positive square root of x minus negative square root of x dx plus yung second integral natin. So, mula dito sa point na to, 1 up to the point 4 y upper so again, that is positive square root of x minus y lower. So rearrange lang natin to, or actually, ito na pala yun, x minus 2 dx. Then let's simplify this. This is equal to 0 to 1, 2 square root of x dx plus the integral from 1 to 4 ng square root of x minus x plus 2 dx. So, gamitan ulit natin ang power rule. Recall na yung square root of x equal din yun sa x raised to 1 half. So, pag ito integrate natin, we'll have, so, labas lang natin yung constant na 2 multiplied by x raised to 1 half plus 1 is 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 evaluated from 0 to 1 plus yung integral nitong function na to or that is just x raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 minus x squared over 2 plus 2x evaluated from 1 to 4. Then, substitute lang natin yung 1 dun sa value na x minus substitute natin yung 0. Then, for this, ganun din yung gagawin natin. Simplify lang natin yung equations na nakuha natin. Then, we'll have so, 2 divided by 3 over 2 is just 4 over 3 x raised to 3 over 2. Then, evaluate natin from 0 to 1 plus 2 over 3 x raised to 3 over 2 minus x squared over 2 plus 2x evaluated from 1 to 4. So, substitute lang natin yung values ng x so, 1 muna, minus, palit natin yung 0, and we'll just see na equal lang yon sa 0, plus 2 over 3 times 4 raised to 3 over 2, minus 4 squared over 2, plus 2 times 4 minus, palit natin yung 1, 2 over 3 times 1 raised to 3 over 2, minus 1 squared over 2, plus 2 times 1. So, writing that, we have 4 over 3, minus 0. So, di ko na isusulat. For this term, we'll have 16 over 3 minus pag sinimplify natin to we'll get 13 over 6 so adding these terms minus to and we'll get 9 over 2 so the area is equal to 9 over 2 square units 
considering the first problem na meron tayo kanina, gamitan na naman natin to ng horizontal strip. So, gaya ng vertical strip, same lang siya, no? para tayong kukuha ng isang rectangle as a representative strip. Tapos, gagamitan natin ng integration para masum natin yung area ng lahat ng rectangular strip na yun. So, ang difference ng dito, syempre, dahil y na yung nagbabago, so, itong width niya is dy. Tapos, yung left and right, so, parang pag kinonsider nyo isang point na to, syempre, meron siyang x and y coordinate, ito meron din siyang x and y coordinate, para makuha natin yung width na to, paano natin gagawin yun? So, minus lang natin yung x nito, minus sa x nito, or basically, to find the area using horizontal strip, we'll use this formula. So, that will be x on the right minus x left. That is the width multiplied by the height, which is dy, from a to B. Take note na yung A to B natin dito is yung nandun na sa y-axis. So, last time, yung ating differential width is dx. Ang ginamit natin ay x-coordinate. Ngayon, yung differential width natin is dy na. So, ang gagamitin na natin is yung y-coordinates. So, for this problem, to get the area, sulat ko lang dito, A to B, Kunin natin yung x sa right, minus natin yung x sa left, multiply natin sa dy, then let's perform the integration. So, ano ba yung x natin dito sa right? So, makikita nyo, nagtatouch siya sa line na to. So, rearranging this will have, lipat natin sa kabilang side si negative 2. So, we'll get the value for x, or an equation for x which is equal to x equals y plus 2. So, yung ating x right is y plus 2 minus yung x left natin, itong parabola, y squared. Multiplied by the differential height, dy, from a to p, which is 2. So, gamitin ulit natin ng power rule. Integral ng y dy is y squared over 2 plus integral ng 2 dy is 2y minus y cubed over 3 evaluated from negative 1 to 2. So, palit lang natin ulit si 2, then minus natin pag pinalit natin si negative 1. 2 squared over 2 plus 2 times 2 minus 2 cube over 3 minus palit natin si negative 1 negative 1 squared over 2 plus 2 times negative 1 minus negative 1 cube over 3 and we'll get for this we can get 10 over 3 Minus, ito pag sinimplify natin, we'll get negative 7 over 6. Combining these two terms, we'll get 9 over 2. So, same lang nung nakuha natin sagot kanina. Makikita ninyo, mas simple yung ginawa natin solution dito compared dun sa kanina. So, depende sa sitwasyon, kung ano yung mas convenient, inyong gagamitin natin solution. So, we can either use the vertical strip or the horizontal strip. Siguraduhin nyo lang na yung gagamitin ninyong strip is ma-represent niya ng consistently yung area na kinukuha natin. Let's try to solve this second problem. Determine the area of the region bounded by x equals negative y squared plus 10, or ito yun, and x equals quantity y minus 2 squared, itong red. So yung area na kukuha ni natin ay ito. So una, decide muna tayo. Ano ba ang gagamitin natin? Vertical strip ba or horizontal strip? So let's try kung vertical strip gagamitin natin. So sulat natin dito, no? Try lang natin i-imagine. Ito yung ating vertical strip. 
So, pag tinignan nyo, yung upper function natin ay ito, and yung lower ay ito. Pagka kumuha tayo ng another representative strip dito na vertical, yung upper function will be this graph or parabola, and yung lower itong red. Kung makikita ninyo, hindi consistent. So, again, gaya ng ginawa natin sa first problem, gagawa tayo ng dalawang integration. So, medyo hindi convenient. So, instead, let's try kung gagamit tayo ng horizontal strip. So, kuha ko ng isang representative na horizontal strip with a vertical or differential height na dy. Check natin kung ito bang horizontal strip na to is consistent para doon sa buong area. So, mula rito, right function minus left function, consistent. Hanggang dito, so consistent. Ano? Kaya, ang gamitin na lang natin is isang horizontal strip. So, to get the area, that is just equal to the integral from A to B ng x on the right minus x sa left times the differential height na dy. So, expand ko lang muna to para yun na lang i-substitute natin. And we'll have y squared minus 4y plus 4. So, sulat natin siya dito. Integral ng yung ating x sa right is yung violet or negative y squared plus 10 minus yung x sa left. Ito, no, yung red or that is y squared minus 4y plus 4 times dy. So, dahil dy to yung ating limits ng integration ay yung y-coordinate then Or, that is from negative 1 to 3. So, simplify lang natin to. Negative y squared minus y squared. That is negative 2y squared. 10 minus 4 is positive 6 minus negative 4y or that will become positive 4y dy. So, integrate na natin to and we'll have negative 2y cubed over 3 plus 6y plus 4y squared over 2 or 2y squared evaluated from negative 1 to 3. So, substitute natin to and we'll have negative 2 times 3 cubed over 3 plus 6 times 3 plus 2 times 3 squared minus, pag kinalit natin yung negative 1, negative 2 times negative 1 cubed over 3 plus 6 times negative 1 plus 2 times negative 1 squared. So, simplify lang natin to And ang makukuha natin is 18 minus these terms. And we'll have negative 10 over 3. So, combining these two terms, ang makukuha natin area is 64 over 3 square units. So, yung makikita nyo ulit dito na mas convenient kung gagamit tayo ng horizontal strip. So, yun lang. Kailangan nyo ulit. Huwag kakalimutang mag-like and subscribe. Bye!